All right, Sports Buds Podcast. I'm TD. I'm Deeds. And we're going to talk some Angels baseball right now. Uh, some recent news, usually the kits of death, but Angels owner uh, Artie Moreno has given Mike Sosha a vote of confidence, saying there's a zero chance he'll get fired, um, calling out the team, saying if you don't go out and make errors, you don't, uh, your relievers pitch good, you, everyone's hitting 300, then we're not talking about this. So, uh, what are your thoughts, man? First of all, what are your thoughts on Angels baseball right now? It's pretty bad, isn't it? Oh, boy. I mean, that would take longer than the time we have here to analyze that fully, but it's not good. No pitching, inconsistent offense. The main thing is no leadership. You know, you trade a guy, or not trade him, but you let a guy like Torrey Hunter go. He signs with the Tigers, seems to be doing well. Guy was a leader, fan favorite. You know, you got to keep these guys around. It's more important things than dollars and stats. It's you know? the same thing with uh, with the Dodgers as well. And we're, we're looking at maybe spending and getting the best free agents. Probably not the best way to go. Yeah. And I just did a video on this uh, on STN TV, so click on that too when you're done listening to us. But um, it's... Uh, Angels, man, it's tough. We're Angel fans. It's an empty stadium. It should be an empty stadium. It's just <laughs> yeah, as empty as it should be. It. Right. I mean, you know, you can't support this right now. Look, I love the comments by Moreno. Mm-hmm. I love when an owner stands behind his guy. You know, I agree. Normally, this is the kiss of death. I like that he's saying he's calling out the players and being like, "Look, we're not. You know, if we're not making errors and we're pitching well and we're hitting when we should be. Then we're not going to have this conversation about the manager." How about firing Mike Butcher? What do you think about that? I mean, I, you know, I hate to fire a guy and, like, say a guy loses his job, but the evidence seems to be Mike Butcher hasn't done a great a job with this pitching staff as, you know, has been proven in other places. C.J. Wilson was the ace in a tiny ballpark yeah. and with the Rangers. And, uh, you other know, pitchers yeah. leave the Angels and they go to other pitching coaches and organizations. They seem to do pretty well. Sure. Urban Santana is not too shabby. Yeah. But he wasn't too shabby every other year here either. You know, he is like sticking with year. his consistency. That's yeah. True. So it's a good year right, after a right, bad year. Right. Um, so Mike Sosha. I mean, do you think all these comments means that Mike Sosha is going to stick around, or do you think he's done for because of what this is saying, or what? I I choose to believe, and maybe that's the wrong way to approach it. But I choose to believe that the Angels are smart enough in the front office to understand the value that they have in a manager like Mike Sosha, and I believe that they will keep him around. It, you know, he it's not his fault that the team is underperforming talent-wise. So he's doing it all. He's keeping it all together. He's a great baseball guy, very respected amongst the league. You know, there's no reason to get rid of him. All right, so we're keeping Mike Sosha. 100%. I'm in. All right, sounds good. All right, that's all for this episode. We'll uh, talk to you next time when we're talking about something else.